What's up, Whirly Birds? It's me, Whirly, back at you with another video. And I know what you're wondering, where have you been? And I'll tell you, the abyss. I have been fighting for my life. Am I gonna make more content? That depends on if they let me. Please, help me. You have to- With that out of the way, I was watching a stream from my favorite fish biologist and also best friend, Zachary, or AVNJ, and he jokes about a video that sounded like it was written by an AI. What? This is like, this is like, if you asked an AI to produce a video, this is what you would get. You tell an AI, I need you to make a video that's eight minutes long so I get the best monetization. The topic is frilled shark. And I thought, who better to make that video than the number one most trusted source on the internet? Dr. Whirly. You can tell I'm a doctor because I have a stethoscope and they don't just give these out to everybody. Please trust me. Please. With a little help from a program called InfraKit, not sponsored, I would put in a little sentence like, sharks are so cool. And it would come back with something like, sharks are so cool. They're out there searching for sea urchins and sardines and all kinds of stuff that's in the water. They make these incredible noises and every once in a while, they explode? Um, yeah, obviously that doesn't really make any sense. So I asked this thing to help me make a script for an entire Megalodon video. And here's how it turned out. We have only explored 5% of our world's oceans, meaning there must be creatures down there we have never seen. For example, the Megalodon. It's described as a shark, but was it really? Were there actually sharks that were as large as the Megalodon that have been around for millions of years? According to scientists, that's not the case. Megalodon fossils found in the Miocene epoch 22 to 13.6 million years ago are more than 9 meters long as the megalodon is estimated to have reached 20 meters in length. Megalodon teeth, much like shark teeth, are sharp, pointed, and narrow, and not like the pointy teeth you'd see on a great white shark. What does this mean for the Jurassic Park movies? Could we ever see a truly great white shark? In Jurassic Park, the visitor has to control the water flow using a hydraulic jack. Once the water is flowing, the hydraulic jack is turned off, and then the jack falls down and brings the platform back up. You need water for sharks to survive. Water, of course, was plentiful during the time of the Megalodon. Why they didn't live in the ocean full time, we don't know. If the Megalodon did exist, they most likely ate people. They were giant sharks, and people would have been small fish to them and would have been easy prey. Megalodons have been extinct for at least 12 million years and possibly 15 million years. Today, they can only be found in freshwater. The Megalodon will be shown on a special event day on Saturday, January 13th at 1.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $5 each and the theater is wheelchair accessible. Anyone can take a short walk out to the shore to see the interesting fossil. After all, megalodon fossils are abundant in the surrounding area, and there's a boat that will take people out to a boat ramp for an easy boat trip to see the fossils. There is nothing scarier than a megalodon, one massive shark ready to kill. You don't even see it, it's all you can hear. Hunting the megalodon. Why the Megalodon became extinct? David Wellington. There is no better hiding place for the Megalodon than the abyss of the ocean. So why did the Megalodon go extinct? The Megalodon lived in the Jurassic period. The origin of the Megalodon is unknown. The fossil record of sharks and their evolutionary history show no link between sharks and the megalodon. The megalodon is related to the jaguar. 
Jaguars are nocturnal animals. However, it's worth noting that the jaguar is most likely not a megalodon ancestor, as the megalodon has evolved from three separate lineages of sharks. There is no fossil evidence of the jaguar-like megalodon, but there is evidence of a megalodon-like species of shark, with one being similar to the megalodon. Scientists were surprised to find living proof of sharks in the Middle Jurassic period. This megalodon lived 300 to 240 million years ago. There are two likely scenarios as to why this megalodon was extinct. One is that the megalodon's prey, which are bony fish, became extinct around this time. This coincides with a rapid decline of the Cretaceous-era great white shark population. The second possibility is a combination of things. This megalodon species possibly became extinct because of the habitat changes as well as competition from the great white shark, which was common around the same time. The megalodon may have died out at the same time as great whites. Another great proof for the megalodon is the example we have in the ocean today, most notably in the shark species that have taken over the role of their ancestors, which, in spite of its name, are not true megalodons, such as the great white shark. Scientists know very little about the megalodon, but the sharks that have succeeded them are a lot different than their predecessors. We know more about the great white shark today than we do the megalodon. The megalodon was an unknown species to scientists. As science advances, we may learn more about the megalodon's true evolutionary history. Many believe that the megalodon died out millions of years ago, but fossils are pointing to the contrary. Evolution is messy. David Wellington Most people who live in the East Bay already know that the Great White Shark is our area's resident carnivorous shark. The Megalodon, while also named the Great White Shark, has been extinct since the Pliocene era. Research shows that the Great White Shark's ancestors have been living around these areas since the Jurassic period. It's just that the Great White's ancestors were slower and their teeth were larger than the Megalodon's, so scientists don't consider them to be direct ancestors of the great white shark. The megalodon, surprisingly, shares a lot of similarities to jaguars, with the exception of the teeth. Jaguars are larger than megalodons and have shorter bodies than megalodons, which allows for more streamlined swimming. Both are coastal sharks. However, the jaguar, along with their larger ancestors, lived in the Amazon rainforest and the Nile River, while the megalodon likely lived in warm water, like the Mediterranean and Atlantic. Both are ambush predators. So, were you surprised by any of the facts in this video? Feel free to comment below. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe on YouTube for more awesome content like this. Social media. You can follow us on these social media platforms. This video was sponsored by Epic Backpacking. David Wellington is a biology student at San Francisco State University. He can't be reached. We'll see you later in the week with another exciting episode of our science podcast. So thank you for watching that video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I promise you there is more content on the way, so please subscribe. Click on one of these links and it will either take you to Zach's channel or a random Ralph Roberts video. And also, thank you Coolboy John for this outro music. Bye!